Hi, this is Tim. Today we're going to dive a little bit into what type of laptop you need to program PLCs. I've been kind of reluctant to do this video because there is such a variety of laptops out there, but I'm going to give you just a few tips on it. And my short answer is, it doesn't matter. Get the most economical laptop that you can afford. Don't worry about serial ports, parallel ports, HDMI port, PC card, or anything else. These things may be nice, but they're not necessary. Here's my laptop that I use every day. It is a Dell. Um, Dell did not provide me this laptop, and I'm not partial to Dell. I've used HP laptops, Toshiba laptops, probably every brand laptop at some point I've had one of. Um, but it has a USB port, an HDMI port, uh, one of the USB-C ports, and on the other side it has a USB port and an SD card reader. The SD card reader is kind of convenient, but you can get a USB to SD card reader. And I probably use the HDMI four or five times, mainly for presentations to big groups. Uh, I use the C port mainly to charge my phone. So the big thing is that it has USB ports. I mean, it doesn't have Ethernet, it doesn't have anything. And then I use USB adapters for everything. So here is my USB to Ethernet adapter and just a standard Ethernet cable. Here is my 1747 UIC. Uh, so this is how I get um, USB to DH485. Here is a 1747 CP3 with the USB. That's how I connect to uh, Slick 500's control logics. 2711 NC13 with the USB for uh, panel views. Here is a 1761 CBL PMO2 with the USB. This is for connecting to all the micro logics. And I mean, I have tons of others. I mean, here is Automation Direct um, USB to Serial. I'll put the links to all these in the description. But the main point there is don't worry about having specific ports or any of that because there's a USB adapter for everything. And even then, there's a there are a lot of good high quality USB to Serial adapters. Uh, I'll put links to all those in the description. But what I wanted to do was take a moment and actually go through how I would search for a laptop if I was going to buy one today. And I'll give you some good quality new options and also how you can probably get one for 150 bucks. So the two places that I really think you can go and find any laptop you want is either Amazon or eBay. So we're gonna start at amazon.com and I'm just gonna search for laptop. I usually do just skip over the sponsors and let's just go down here and see what we see. Right there, there's this is a hundred and fifty dollar laptop. Now, the one thing I will say when I look at this one is it only has an eleven inch screen, and kind of you know everybody joked in my control panel building series that I was spending more time worrying about my back than I was with actually building control panels. Well, it's the same with this. Um, as you get older, you're, you're gonna your eyes just don't work as well. So I think the screen on this one is too small. But this next one right here. $284, uh, best seller right here, 348 I mean, all these are great laptops. So if I was gonna get one today though, first I would want a Windows operating system. I know I, somebody in the comments will always say, well, I have a Mac, how can I get by that? Well, you get by it by getting an economical laptop just for programming PLCs. So I want a Windows operating system. And okay, first we still have 30,000 results. Uh, so I'm going to go down here and I'm going to say that you've got to have at least a four-star review. And okay, so now, there you go, man, that, that uh, $150 one still looks nice, but I still think the display is too small on it, and that's the biggest reason I'll ax it out. In fact, um, let's just go on down here, and yeah, we're going to, oh, I don't know, 14-inch maybe 14.9 would be it so let's click that one and then we're going to click the 15 inch and the 16 and at this point they're actually getting a little bit heavy to carry around and yeah okay somebody in the comments is a terrible joke that i'm worried more about the weight of the laptop and where i can see Okay, so now, all right, so there's a nice $400 laptop. This is brand new, um, $350 in HP. Honestly, this this one right here is the one that's really jumping out to me. Uh, it's got not a ton of reviews, but I mean, they're all good reviews. So there you go, $350. I haven't even looked to see what it has yet, but chances are this will work outstanding for programming PLCs if you wanna buy a new laptop.
So the big thing that I'm looking for is the USB ports, and there you go, you have three USB ports. Uh, this one actually also has Ethernet, HDMI. So I mean, those are just bonuses though. Mainly, we're gonna use USB adapters for everything. In fact, I probably will have another video where I may argue that it's actually a lot easier even to use like USB to serial Ethernet adapters and things like that. Uh, it allows you to do a few things that you can't do with a built-in adapter. But I'll put a link to a couple of laptops that I see on Amazon here that I think would be good ones. But the other choice is eBay. So we're going to go to eBay and we're just going to do a search, same search. We're going to search for laptop. And then same as the Amazon search, we want Windows 10. And now, okay, there's a Windows 10 S, but mainly I looked through 65,000 Windows 10 computers. And here's where it's important. If you're listing stuff on eBay, here's where those details are important because I'm not even going to look at it if it doesn't have specifically Windows 10. So let's just scroll through. And one thing I love about buying from eBay is I can see, like this one right here, there's been 4,178 of them sold. It's got to be a decent laptop. So there you go. There's a $189 laptop. And we'll just click on it, see what it is. So Windows 10. Um, we scroll down. I'm not seeing it right offhand, but let's just do a quick search for USB. Uh, three built-in USB ports. I mean, this is this is a perfectly fine laptop to get you started programming PLCs. Uh, this one right here is 6,482 of these sold, and okay, there is there's a $129 laptop. Okay, and these, these are Dell Latitudes. I've actually had several of these. In fact, I have several of these that I still send off to customers when I'm doing remote troubleshooting. These are excellent laptops for 130 bucks. Built-in USB ports. Uh, it has a VGA port. Uh, it has built-in Ethernet. Uh, it's, it, this is a great all-around laptop. So there you go, you know, a little over 100 bucks. You're into PLC programming. You can just scroll through and you can see there's a lot of great laptops that you can get into PLC programming for less than 200 bucks. So in the next laptop video, I'll go through how I actually set up my um, laptop because um, I don't load any of the programs actually on the um, core operating system. I use uh, VirtualBox for everything and I think that saves a lot of time and makes your um, setup portable between different PCs and also if I break my laptop, I'm not out a lot. I just pull the um, virtual box uh, image off of one and I stick it onto another one. It la My last laptop I bought took me 30 minutes to set up from start to finish. So I'll do that. That'll be probably a lot of good helpful tips for you. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos. And like this video and comment on what you would like to see next. Visit our website where we offer a full line of PLCs, simulators, control panels, PLC trainers, and more.